Hey guys, welcome back to HW Sports 90. So, the news is that Portugal have made it to the round of 16 of this year's comp uh, Euro competition, that is Euro 2024. Portugal have made it the, through after winning 3 nil against Turkey. A uh, goal scored by Bernardo Silva, an own goal, I think one of the best own goals I've ever seen. Uh, and also the second half goal by Bruno Fernandes, assisted by the god that is Cristiano Ronaldo. Um, I think Turkey uh, were, were a threat in the early minutes before the goal by Silva, and um, uh, they looked to like they, they were close, closer to scoring uh, than Portugal. But sometimes I think experience and quality, you know, uh, if you compare the uh, Portugal uh, Portuguese players and the Turkish players, I think uh, uh, Portugal players are better above the Turkish players and I think uh, experience played a part and uh, with Portugal having two experienced players in attack and also in defense that is Cristiano Ronaldo and Pepe uh, I think uh, played a part and now Portugal are qualified but Turkey lo hopes not lost, lost yet because they are still third second with three points and uh, they need a point I think uh, uh, in the next game for them to qualify and they are, I think they are uh, they are playing, uh, I think they are playing the uh, search next game uh, because the Portugal will be, will be playing uh, Georgia. So, um, I think uh, it was, a, it was a, an, a very interesting game, uh, uh, you know, not a boring one because uh, Turkey were also uh, threatening to score. So it was an end-to-end uh, game, but uh, in, eventually, or rather, unfortunately, uh, Turkey didn't find uh, a goal and uh, I'm still baffled by the decision to uh, bench Ada Gula. Why did they bench Ada Gula? I think in his uh, post-match press conference, that's the, the Turkish manager, I think one of the questions he'll be asked is why did he decide to uh, leave Adagula on bench? Remember Adagula had a very good game against Georgia, scoring a very, I think one of the best goals we've seen this year, in this year's tournament and I think uh, he deserved to start. So uh, we will wait to hear from the manager why he decided to arrest um, or bench uh, Adagula. But uh, I think most fans, Turkish fans, or uh, to be to be to be precise, will uh, blame him for that for that decision because I think that the goal is matured enough. You know, uh, looking at Spain, uh, they're playing with the youngest in this in this tournament. That is uh, Lamelia Mal, and uh, I think it has been a uh, it's been one of one of the best players, young players, to so find these Euros. And uh, the decision to bench at Agula in a very crucial game today, uh, but the manager, I think, uh, it's going to be questioned a lot because. They needed a, a, a point for them to be, you know, confirmed or rather be sure that they can qualify. But I think uh, Turkey versus Russia is going to be an interesting game. And uh, somehow Turkey will rely on Portugal to beat uh, Georgia so that um, a draw uh, against um, uh, Russia will make this test, uh, will be a confirmation that Turkey will qualify to the next round of these competitions. But... At the moment, we are celebrating Cristiano Ronaldo. Remember, he's assisted Bruno Fernandes in the second half to make it 3 nil for Portugal. But here it is. Here is that what that assist means to Cristiano Ronaldo. Officially, he is now a player with the most assist in Euro history. This is Cristiano Ronaldo. All he does is score goals. In quotes, that is what other people or most people would say. You know, Ronaldo is a good, a good scorer, a tap in my chant. You know, they always say things about him. But... He can also assist. You know, the longevity of Cristiano Ronaldo in the in, in football is admired because uh, at 39 years of age, he's still strong, he's still scoring goals, uh, he's still assisting, and uh, he is one of the best players uh, to ever grace the lovely football. And um, as I said earlier, uh, he's now the player the most assist in Euro history. And he is also the player with the most goals, 14 goals in the Euro's history with 20, uh, 24, yeah, 20, uh, 20, 22, right? because 14 goals and 8 assists. That is a total of 22 goals and assists in Euro, the most in uh, Euro history. And that is Cristiano Ronaldo. With his assist was enough to beat Turkey and as I said earlier Portugal have qualified the next round that is the uh, quarterfinals or rather round of 16 teams that have qualified I think Spain have qualified um, 
in Germany has also qualified and now now Portugal has also qualified for the round of 16. What do you think? Is Portugal strong enough to be able to uh, to win this Euros? I think uh, looking at, looking at Germany and Spain, I think uh, uh, I think Spain Spain has shocked me because uh, I was never expecting this this kind of uh, performance because looking looking at the squad, there are a lot of newcomers and uh, I think they've they've they, they've done so well and I think uh, they are capable. Of going going the final Spain that is also Germany they bounced back under Nagelsmann's and I think they are they are playing fantastic football as well and they are capable of reaching the finals and Portugal I think they are also there I look at the game today they played quite well and I think uh, if they continue the same same energy the same spirit I think Portugal are one of the teams to win Euros this year so yeah um, I think uh, Portugal next game it will be against um, Georgia. Yeah, Georgia because they've they've played uh, Turkey today. They played just in the first game, which they were the one to one, and now they've um, played other game, the one to nil, and also other on goal. Uh, on goals are now the leading top scorer in this Euro <laughs> 2024. Um, next one for Portugal, I think it's Georgia. I think that this is where uh, you rest your star players rather than the first eleven because all players are stars. For you to make it to the Euro. Uh, that means you're a star and uh, i think the next game is where you play uh the the substitute yeah uh, i think the likes of uh how joao felix the likes of uh, uh ruben neves he came on joao neves uh linked with Manchester united uh when i think mm. so this is where you start now you are uh there that there you are you you already serve the substitute because uh you need the 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 the, the, the starters to rest because we have a big game uh coming in yeah uh, that's the round of 16. you don't want to risk the fatigue and also them getting injured so i think uh, tactically portugal spain and germany we will see a lot of changes in their uh, third last game uh in this euro 2024. so <clears throat> i i asked earlier you think portugal can win the you can win euro 2024 i think they can uh looking at them they, they play Fantastic football uh, link up between Bruno Fernandes, uh, Rafael Liao, Ronaldo, Bernardo Silva. I think they that they, they just need a bit of uh, I think composure in that midfield. Uh, Joao Palhinha need to come down sometimes. You know, is playing as the last man as a number six. He need to come down, you not know, to risk getting yellow card and uh, uh, risk being sent off. So that means the manager needs to take him out. Uh, uh, like today, he was uh, taken off in the first half. In, this, uh, in the first half, in the second half, he didn't start because he was on yellow card, and he, he didn't want to risk him getting sent off because he's one of the best players for Portugal. And uh, him missing the uh, the next game will be a good, a great loss for a bad loss for Portugal. And uh, I think um, that one was avoided. Also, Leao was uh, was shown a yellow card in the first half. Apparently, according to the officials, he dived and he received his second booking. Uh, in this tournament, that means he's missing. The, he will miss the next game, which eventually I think uh, is like a rest to him, a blessing in this case for Feliao, because the next game, as I said, it's against Georgia, which I don't think is, the, is not important for Portugal, but it will be important for Georgia. So um, he will he will miss, miss that game, but the available the round of 16. Same applies for a Spanish midfielder that, that is Rodri. Who, who will also miss then the, the, their game, uh, that the third game because he was booked. That means he wanna miss the game. But eventually, for them also, uh, fortunately, it is their third game and they have already qualified. That means the yellow card will not affect them that much because I expect Germany, Spain, and Portugal, as I said earlier, to make a lot of changes in that their last uh, group stage game. So. Let me leave with a question. Do you think Portugal can win it? Or between Portugal, let me let me uh, this let, let me um, talk about the team that I've qualified already. That is Spain, Portugal, and Germany. Between Germany, Portugal, and Spain, which team do you think will make it to the final? And which one will eventually win it? Do you think it's going to be Portugal, Ronaldo? Do you think it's going to be Spain, the likes of Lamela Mal? Do you think it's going to be Germany, Jamal Musiala, and Florian Wizes? And don't forget Tony Cruz, who is retiring at the end of this year's Euro.
tomorrow sunday uh, tomorrow sunday we also have some games coming uh on, on our screen we have germany facing switzerland and we have scotland coming up against hungary as i said earlier germany have already qualified as the leading with in group a with six points and that they're being followed by switzerland second place with four points third scotland with uh, uh, one point fourth is hungary with one point remember uh germany has have, have qualified switzerland needs to avoid a defeat against germany if they are to qualify if they avoid a defeat they don't they will qualify but if they face a huge defeat against germany and either scotland or hungary get a huge win um i think so the switzerland will be third and they'll be waiting to see if they can qualify or not but a win for them or a draw will mean that they will qualify for the round of 16 as well so is they are all to play for tomorrow both scotland hungary and switzerland they still have hope of qualifying and we will know at the end of tomorrow which team will qualify and which team will be waiting to see if they can qualify because i think we are heading to the third the end of the group series because uh, tomorrow group a uh as i said so the money switzerland hungary Scotland playing and they're playing at the same time that means the end of the euros so that's it from us today thanks for watching guys thanks for your support i appreciate that a lot always like share and subscribe don't forget our question today between as i said we are a question germany portugal and spain which team do you think will make it into the final